Did the Prime Minister mislead the Queen? He says the suspension of Parliament was to allow preparations for a Queen's speech. But was it, as Gina Miller argues, designed to prevent parliamentary scrutiny of his Brexit strategy? Pick your heroes and villains in this, but the Supreme Court must decide purely based on law. In Scotland, the Court of Session agreed with the case against the government, but a week earlier, the High Court of England and Wales claimed it was not for the courts to intervene. So, bring on the lawyers. For the executive to use a prerogative power to seek to evade control by Parliament stands the basic principles of constitutional law on their head. Lord Panic, representing Gina Miller, then submitted what he called additional evidence. A Sky News interview with Boris Johnson uh, by the journalist Sam Coates. He argues this interview demonstrates the Prime Minister's motivation for suspending Parliament. I'm afraid that the more our friends and partners think at the back of their minds that Brexit could be stopped, that uh, the, the UK could be kept in by Parliament, the less likely they are to give us the deal that we need. Lord Keane QC, representing the UK government, argued that Boris Johnson is not the first Prime Minister in history to ask the Queen to prorogue Parliament for political purposes, but assured the 11 leading judges of the Supreme Court that the PM would abide by their decision. Given a clear undertaking that the Prime Minister will respond by all necessary means uh, to any declaration that the original prorogation uh, was affected by any unlawful advice that he might have given. It would be helpful to have the undertaking or given in writing, so we're absolutely clear what you're Well, I'm saying. content for that to be done, my Lord. Well, this short section of pavement outside the Supreme Court really does represent the division in our society right now, because behind this fence you've got protesters who see this proroguing of Parliament as a power grab by the Prime Minister, an attempt to snuffle democracy. Then over here you have Leave supporters who see the MPs as the villains of this piece and that the court case here today is really an attempt to undermine what they voted for in the EU referendum. I'm a Conservative Party member, but I support Farage because I've lost trust Guys over there just think this is a cynical ploy to try and stop Brexit. What do you think about that? I don't think it is. This in itself is just a desperate attempt to save democracy so that they can then decide whether they want Brexit or not and in what form. As they consider reams of evidence, the justices insist that whatever they're ruling, they're not passing judgment on Brexit. This is purely a legal constitutional decision. But when it comes out, some might see it differently. Jason Farrell, Sky News.